Ladies and gentlemen, the following fight is scheduled for three rounds of action in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a BJJ specialist and stands five feet eight inches tall. He went in officially at 145.1 pounds and in 28 fights has earned a record of 22 wins and six losses. Fighting at the Mossoro Rio Grande de Norte Brazil, Leandro Alta. Out of the red corner. Here's a BJJ specialist and stands five feet eight inches tall. He went in official at 145.4 pounds and owns a professional record of 12 victories and two defeats. Nine wins coming by way of submission. Fighting out of Strabane, Northern Ireland. The Box right here. Thank you. Right there. Gallows in the black, Trunks Eagles in the white. The Northern Irish fans showing their support for the man from Straban. The fact that this fight has been so long in the making and the fact that we're here in Belfast with this crowd behind Gallagher is going to make it very difficult for Higo to not just throw down, you know? It's going to be very difficult for him to maintain his composure and not lose his temper in there and just try and stick one on Gallagher. I really feel James has the advantage in the wrestling and the takedown, as soon as James gets a hold of you, whether it's a body lock or shoots that outside single, like, you, you can take anybody down. I've trained with him so many times. His strength for the size of him is insane. What do you think Gallagher is expecting from Higo? Do you think he's expecting Higo's going to try and strike or grapple with him? I think he's going to expect Higo to try and keep it standing and maintain range for the first round, because if James can, can start fast and get you on your back, that's where he wants to be. A lot of respect being shown. That's the first real strike thrown in this fight over a minute in. Ego throws a kick off the guard. There's good patience from Gallagher holding the center. Just testing the space between them with his lead hand. That's what I was talking about with the keys. Using, oh, beautiful. Using that lead hand as a distraction. There it is again, look and then he just pops a shot behind it. Good defense of the low kick there. There you go, trying with the jab. Geller's doing a great job keeping his distance, deciding when these striking exchanges can happen. Both of them are such high level grapplers. There's 21 submissions between them. They know if they make one mistake or they enter in too early, it will be dangerous. Especially in this opening round when they're both still fresh, they've got all that muscle energy to squeeze. They're a little bit dry as well, so if they get tangled up, it's not as easy to slide out of things as it would be in the second or third round. Maybe that's something else that's on their mind. I can just start to see a little beading of sweat on the back of James Gallagher now. Now their body temperatures are raising. That makes these scrambles a little bit more chaotic when they're both sweating. Easy out of range there for Gallagher. Exchange of high kick attempts there. There's a lot of caution in these early moments. We're almost three minutes in. That was a nice little step through change of stance there as well. Very subtle. from both of these guys. Feels 
feels to me like Gallagher is just he's waiting for Higo to do something. There, oh, spinning elbow that wobbled Gallagher a little bit. And there's the takedown right after. Good takedown, he's got a wrap on the neck, but he's going to struggle to do anything with it in this position. He's going to watch that Von Flew choke if he gets flattened out. Ego pulls his head out instead. Gallagher with the underhook there on the far side. You're going to see him bridge hard in a minute off the fence. He's going to go towards that underhook. The underhook on his leg is going to prevent that, but now Ego lets go of it. Good frame there. Nice strikes from the top position by Ego. Oh! A kick landed on the side of Ego's head. Elbows now from the bottom for Gallagher. Nice, very nice. On a heel hook. Going for this heel hook. Ego's shaking his head, saying no, but he's got to clear the knee line. Nice elbows to the calf. Look at that. Creativity there from that top position. Ego leaving his leg in. On the opposite leg. takes the other one. It's more of a straight ankle lock, though, in this moment. Using to sweep his opponent, goes back to the straight ankle lock, can he finish this? More Ego. of a pain submission, sorry, Sean. Yeah, Ego now steps up and he's putting weight on that leg. Not nasty left hands there. Look at James Gallagher staying and dogged in his pursuit of something on this left leg of Leandro Ego. Hammer fist now in these final seconds of round one. Stop! Release. Bellator Champion Series brought to you by Professional Fighters League. Leandro Ego is in the white, James Gallagher's in the black. Something Gallagher's got to be really aware of now, those spinning attacks. Yep, James is going to want to initiate the takedown this time. I wonder if Ego felt the, the danger to his legs at the end of that round. Although, of course, he was landing good ground and pound strikes, he might just decide that it's easier to land those strikes on the feet and not get his legs tangled up. Can't right pick for a the temp. calf kick there, yeah. Gallagher just does a good job of just dragging his leg out of range. Seen a couple stance switches here from James. Back to orthodox he goes. Minute gone in the second round. Gallagher holding the center. Once again, an abundance of caution in the early moments of this round, or what we saw in round one. The slow simmer, but when it pops off, it'll really pop off. Yeah, when they go, they go. Lots of hip feints. There's the inside low kick. Gave a little space there to Higo. A little bit more respect from the striking this time around, I feel. Nice inside low kick there as well for the Brazilian. Now Higo doing a good job of making sure that Gallagher can't close the distance and land. I think we might see Gallagher level change in a moment. I think he's just testing. Yeah. Looks like he just keeps dipping his level just to see what the reaction is of his opponent. He doesn't want to dip onto a... Oh! Oh, nice hook landed at the end of that one for Ego. He went back-to-back -back inside low kicks, tried for a third, and that initiated the striking exchange from Gallagher, but Ego got the better of it with that final left hook. Round two, halfway gone. Midpoint of the fight. Very cautious from both of these guys. James has a new corner team. He's got the great George Hickman from Bang Tao over from Thailand just for this fight. Yeah, he spoke really highly about his preparations in Thailand. Just the lifestyle out there is that of a fighter. You just train and eat and sleep and recover 
the climate and everything is there for you to... Oh, that was a... Time! Neutral! James! James! Over here for me? Inadvertent right in right that there. open Don't stance, you, you see it plenty of times. Hey, Low kick. Over here! Sneaks north of the equator, hits the cup. I'll just start the clock. Don't talk to them. Just let me know you got time, all right? Sorry. Yeah, Dan, uh, Thailand is like fighter heaven. The heat, rest, recovery. I would move there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, you like the reign of Belfast. Oh, I love it. You sure? Okay, take a step back for me. Gallagher's ready to go. Ready on time? Just be careful. It's an action, okay? Fight clean, guys. Let's go. If nothing else, that gave Gallagher the time to just take in the moment. We're going to have to figure out the clock situation. That clock kept running during the break, during the timeout from the referee. So we'll, we'll make sure we get that correct on your screen. Nice low kick there from Ego. But again, Gallagher does a great job minimizing the impact on it. Difficult. I feel like Gallagher knows he needs. Oh, there's the spinning shot again. And another point. <laughs> it's Leandro difficult. Ego likes to acknowledge, watch his work a little bit. I feel like Gallagher knows he needs to pick up his pace, but it's just very difficult to put things together when you've got someone that's tricky and dangerous like Ego. Now they both play karate. <laughs> Well, it's interesting, it's almost as if Leandro Ego knows that he just landed the most significant strike of the round and he's ready to run out the rest of the round. Well, th this is the thing, I mean, th there isn't pressure on Ego to do anything additional other than what he needs to to win the fight. The pre oh, beautiful! And another to back it up from Gallagher. It almost seemed like the second one was, did the most damage. Beautiful little pop to the chin. High kick attempt from Ego glances off the guard. from Leandro Ego. You saw the cloud of sweat bursting off the head of James Gallagher, but he shakes his head, refuses to acknowledge. There's the final 10 seconds. It could be the deciding frame here in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Bellator Champion Series, brought to you by the Professional Fighters League. Up next, a title eliminator at middleweight, a featherweight title contest, and a vacant light heavyweight title bout. Double underhooks here for Ego, pressing James Gallagher to the cage. No caution here in round number three. kick the toes jabbing into the midsection there from Leandro Ego. Nasty low kick as Gallagher tried to initiate a combination. Good right hands there from the Irishman. Far wrist. We saw this earlier from Kieran Clark. Only that was on the ground. Ego trying to use this to get James Gallagher down. 13 pro submissions for Leandro. The action is happening right in front of the blue corner of Leandro Ego. Gallagher's 
staying on his feet so far. Good lift here from Ego and down. Gallagher trying for the switch. Great wrist control there from Ego. You can see this tangle here. It's causing Gallagher all kinds of problems. He needs to get some movement in this position if he's going to continue with this attack. You can see now Gallagher's trying to get his leg over to the other side here. He's trying to swing it over so he can attack the arm. He's on that Kimura trap, but the way the ego's compressed him into the fence makes it very, very difficult. If Ego lifts his head up here, expect to see the, the right leg. Is it the right leg? No, the left leg. <laughs> Difficult to tell in this tangle here. Now he's free. Now Gallagher's got to be cautious of this ground and pound. Ego's going to work with his left hand. Just over a minute left in this fight. A very close contest through two frames. Alejandro Ego here in this position. See some big strikes coming here from Ego. Nice up kick there from Gallagher. More up kicks here from James Gallagher. Oh, big right hand comes down from the top. Gallagher thought about another leg attack. That right hand came straight down the pipe. Hammer fist down. They were huge punches as well. And now he's into mount. Leandro Ego finishing this round in the mount potentially. James Gallagher gives up his back instead. Maybe switch to an arm triangle position here. Ten seconds though, I think he's just gonna keep striking from this position. Ego hammering away. And we'll just finish the round in this position. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored this bout 29-28 for your winner by a unanimous decision. Leandro Ego! Solid performance for Leandro Ego.